Welcome to Dubai once again, Ravi. Yeah, it's 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 a great feeling being here. Uh, firstly, I'd like to ask you your comments or your words or your sayings about this cricket museum hosted by Mr. Shambhatiya. Absolutely stunning. 
when you walk around initially, you are at a loss for words. And the more you roam around, you realize that you are just the size of a table tennis ball in the cricketing fraternity. And your uh, information is found in each pillars, the old photographs. I can see, you know, emotions coming out from your face and uh, body and so on. That's why I said the size of a table tennis ball in the cricketing fraternity. That's what you are. Uh, tell us something about your relationship with Mr. Sham Bhatia. How long have you been knowing him? Well, I've known Sham for 30 years now. You know, uh, early 80s, whenever we came here to uh, Sharjah, I came here every year from uh, 1980 to 90, till I played the game, then came here as a broadcaster. But uh, our relationship goes a long, long way. You know, he's more than just a friend. He's an elder. He's, uh, he's like a father to me in many ways, an elder brother. I mean, you can call whichever way you want it. And the good thing is we've kept that relationship going, you know, without any agenda. You know, nothing, uh, nothing else comes in the way of that friendship, and uh, which is very good. Uh, I don't know whether to ask you this question or not, but still, for the sake of asking, uh, which part or point of the cricket uh, museum you liked best? The Indian pavilion or the... Uh, <laughs> No, it's memorabilia. See, memorabilia, you, I mean, you, you see the usual stuff, you know, everywhere. But then you, he's got stuff here that is, you know, you've, uh, you've not seen ever before. And, uh, you know, there's so much, if I spend a day here, there's so much you can learn. There's no doubt about it. Like, for example, I never knew there used to be a four ball over that got converted into a five ball over. I never knew a test match never ended, you know. So as long, uh, you know, like, like I always said, you're always a student in the game. And the learning experience here. It's a huge learning experience. It's a huge learning curve. And you feel like, a, like I said, a little midget, you know, in this, uh, in this uh, massive arena here where there's so much wealth and knowledge uh, that you can uh, learn so quickly. Now, uh, tell us something about the World Cup. Uh, last time when Steve Waugh was here, we asked him, <laughs> uh, who do you think and who are you going to vote for and who are the hot favorites? And he gave his own comments. Now, from your side, who do you think... Um, uh, are the hot favourites to win the World Cup. Of course, may, may the best team win, but still for the, from the point uh, of your side. I think Australia, India and uh, Dark Horses, Pakistan. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, Clive. Welcome to Dubai. Sure, thanks. Thanks a bit. Good to be here. We'd like to have your comments on Sham Bhatia's Cricket Museum and uh, your relationship with Mr. Sham Bhatia. These are the things which we'd like to know. Mm, oh, yes. I think this is... I've known Sham for quite a while. Um, this is probably one of the best collections you'll ever see anywhere. And, you know, I'm proud to know that at least I'm on the wall. And um, it's great. I think anybody who's come here who a cricket lover or not would be very impressed with what, 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 what they will, will see here. A lot of memories behind the wall. Oh, yes. There's no doubt about that. They've played with, with quite a few of the, the players here. Um, they've captured some great moments in the, in the game, and, and, and it's wonderful to see that it's, it's done well, this is well presented, and we should all be proud of it, not only um, because we know Sham, but being um, cricketers, to see that a display of this nature um, has got to be probably one of the best in the world. Now for the World Cup matches, another five more days to go, who do you think are the hot favourites to win the series? I think we do have about five, five or six teams that can win it. I think this World Cup, is, it's... It's one way you know that there's no just one or two teams. Five teams can win this, and I think that um, there might be one or two um, shocks in this um, in, in this World Cup, and that's how it should be. It should be well contested, and I'm sure that um, good cricket will ensue from, from this. And, of course, uh, which part of the museum did you like uh, the most? I don't think there's any one part you can think. I mean, there's, everything is done so well. Um, you, you know, you have to be proud to be involved in this this museum, and the, the amount of work that has gone in here. Um, this must be worth so much, so much money, really. When you think the way he's presented it, and and the amount of uh, memorabilia he has here. Thank you. Pleasure. Uh, I've got to ask you this question. Cricket for Care, Sham Bhatia's Cricket for Care. Is, um, he has a lot of charity uh, organized on behalf of cricket, sponsoring people. What do you feel about that? Well, it's great. It's, it's obvious that um, he's done a lot of work and he's covered a lot of countries. And um, sure that, that, you know, he does care. And that it's important that we do have people 
who, who really understand what it's all about to play the game. It's very expensive. Um, and, and he's helping out in his small way. And he wasn't you know, sham with cancer. He's a test cricketer. But he does he does feel, you know, important. In, um, this, is, this is important for cricket. Um, he's gone to what? Thailand, Nepal, some of these places that probably I've never gone to. So he is doing quite a lot of good work here, and I, I must congratulate him for it. I think it's a great suggestion. I think what comes out of this is he gives an opportunity to the youth of uh, you know different countries which are evolving, wanting to play the game. And it just goes to show that he's a genuine, genuine cricket lover. It's not just being seen with the biggest players. It's not just being uh, at important matches but there's contribution back to the game, which uh, is paramount. Thank you. Thank you.